Numerous agencies tonight still working hard to get that fire under control. At last check, the fire said to be 50% contained. That's according to the Texas A&M Forest Service. Let's check back in with the night team's John Paul Barajas as he shows us what crews are using to fight this blaze. Smoke can be seen for miles, regardless of where you live in Bear, Kamau, or Kendall County. If you look up and towards JBSA Camp Bullis, you get the idea of the magnitude and size of the fire crews are working. Now you don't know if it's a mile or 10 miles. And in this case, it was probably like 11 miles, but it was still a lot of smoke in the backyard. Yeah, I live uh, in Fair Oaks, so I'm not too far away, and I was uh, worried that we might get uh, evacuated. And I have some friends that did get evacuated. It's pretty scary. According to base officials, after more than 24 hours, there are no injuries and no damages to nearby structures. They estimate 2,800 acres of land have been burned. They do not believe it'll exceed further than Camp Bullis grounds. All service members who live on site have been relocated, and evacuation recommendations for roughly 150 people in Kamau County have been lifted. This fire did break out on the demolition training grounds, and because of that, crews are having to attack it from the air and the ground. The munition areas and the demolition, that kind of type of sites, those those have hazards associated with it, so we don't want to put our firefighters in direct uh, contact in theirs. Deputy Chief Scott Ridnauer explained they're using aerial water drops over the training grounds, and firefighters on the outside are working containment. The cause of the fire is still under investigation, but we're told an authorized training mission was taking place when the fire started Saturday around 2.30 in the afternoon. At this time, point in time, we can tell you that there, the source of the fire happened during a training evolution that was being conducted on the field. So once we get further information on that and we can make it a decision, we can find out the exact source. We don't want to speculate or assume anything. Now we asked about the specifics of that training mission, but they declined to comment on that because of their active investigation. But officials did tell us they'll be working on this fire for the next 24 to 48 hours. At Camp Willis, John Paul Barajas, KSA 12 News.